Let's say a trick equation given is a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to constant. To solve this equation, it can be very difficult. So in order to solve this kind of trick equation, so what we can do is we can convert a sine theta plus b cos theta is equal to r sine of theta plus alpha. Now alpha is an acute angle and it's called the auxiliary angle. So if this is a minus, okay, this is a minus, let's say, and then this theta instead of plus alpha, we put theta minus alpha. If it is a cos theta plus b sine of theta is equal to r, so this is cos, the first term, so we use cos, just remember that. If it's sine, the first term, we use sine. So that is equal to r cos of theta. Now remember, for cos, if you expand positive, become negative. So therefore, positive, we change into negative, alpha. And then, if it is negative here, okay, this become positive instead of negative. So please take note on that. So let's focus on um, a sine theta plus b cos of theta. Let's convert into r sine of theta plus alpha, for instance. So let me expand the right-hand side first. So remember, sine of a plus b is equal to sine of a cos of b plus cos of a psi of b. That's a trick identity. So to expand this out, that become psi of theta cos of alpha plus cos of theta. I just clear this first. And psi of alpha. And then I expand further. This will give me r sine of theta cos of alpha plus r cos of theta sine of alpha. So this is equal to, I just write this out, so a sine of theta plus b cos of theta is equal to so I just write r psi theta cos alpha in a different order. So they become r cos of alpha psi of theta. Plus, similarly, r psi of alpha cos of theta. So let's compare the coefficient of psi theta. So this on the left-hand side here, a psi theta and r cos alpha and then psi theta. Now remember, alpha is a constant, so that means cos alpha is a constant. So as a. So I just compare the um, t two terms first. So that is a psi theta is the same as r cos of alpha psi theta. Psi theta, the coefficient is a, and the coefficient of right hand side is r cos alpha. So therefore, a is equal to r cos of alpha. Let's name this equation number one. So now I can compare the um, coefficient of cos theta and the coefficient of cos theta, of course, on this side is equal. So that is b cos theta is equal to r psi of alpha cos of theta. So that means the coefficient of this is b and the coefficient of the right hand side for cos theta is r psi of alpha. Let's name this equation number two. So now we have these two equations here. If I use equation number two divided by equation number one, that is equation two over equation one. So that is on the left hand side b over a is equal to r psi of alpha over r cos of alpha. So equation number two divided by equation number one. 
So now this give me B over A is equal to the R cancel out. So sine alpha over cos alpha is 10 of alpha. So that is alpha equal 10 inverse of B over A. So please take note on this. So now on equation number one, now if I square both sides, okay, if I square both sides, that means A square is equal to R square cos of square alpha. And I square the equation number two, this means that B square is equal to R square and sine of square alpha. So now if I add them up, so that means A square plus B square is equal to R square cos of alpha square plus R square sine square alpha. So now A square plus B square is equal to R square. I take the common factor out. So that's live with cos square alpha plus psi of square alpha. Now please note that cos square alpha plus psi square alpha is equal 1. This means that A square plus B square is equal to R square. So therefore, square root of both sides, so R equal A square plus B square and square root of that. And of course, every time you square root a number, you get a plus or a minus. But in this case, we just find the magnitude of R. So this is, we ignore the negative sign. So therefore, we can convert A sine of theta plus B cos of theta is equal to R sine of theta plus alpha. Whereas R is A square plus B square, square root of that. And alpha is equal to 10 inverse of B over A. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. So let's expand right hand side first. So this is equal to R. Now remember cos of A plus B is equal to cos of A cos of B minus psi of A psi of B. This is the, the trick identity. So I expand this out. So this give me cos of theta cos of alpha minus psi of theta psi of alpha. So now this is equal to R cos of theta cos of alpha minus R psi of theta psi of alpha. So this means that A cos of theta minus B psi of theta is equal to R cos of alpha cos of theta minus R psi of alpha psi of theta. So now to compare the uh, coefficient of cos theta, so just write this is A cos theta is equal to R cos alpha because R cos alpha and A are constant. So that is A is equal to R cos of alpha. So I name this is equation number one and then the coefficients of psi theta that means negative B is equal to negative R psi of alpha. Equation number two so I divide by equation 2 with equation number 1. So that is negative B over A is equal to negative R psi alpha over R cos of alpha. So that is B over A because the negative, both sides negative, I can just ignore and the R cancel out. 10 of alpha. So therefore, alpha is 10 inverse of 
but b over a. So now if I square the um, equation number one, so that become a square is equal to r square cos square alpha. So square on equation number two, so that b square equal to negative square is positive anyway, so I can ignore that. So the r square psi square of alpha. Let's name this a, equation a, this is equation b. So I just write equation a underneath here. So a square equal r square cos square alpha. So now if I add a and b together, that means a square plus b square is equal to r square cos square alpha plus r square psi square alpha. So that means a square plus b square is equal to r square. I take common factor out, so which is left with cos square alpha plus psi square alpha. So this one here, it give me 1 because cos square theta plus psi square theta equal 1. So cos square alpha plus psi square alpha equal 1 as well. So now a square plus b square equal r square. That is r is equal to square root of a square plus b square. So therefore a cos theta minus b psi theta is equal to r cos of theta plus alpha where alpha is tan inverse of b over a and r is equal to a square plus b square square root of that thank you so much for watching so if you are keen you can try these two questions yourself thank you again